Hello everyone, welcome to Sunya IAS and this is your daily current affairs dose for prelims 2023 and in this video we are going to cover the various news from various newspapers of 29th October 2022. So let's begin. The first news is with respect to the tropical storm Nalgai. Okay, ji. So, first of all, the location should be known. So, UPSC in the past years have asked about the questions in the in such format in the match. The following aspect. Okay, ji. So, a tropical storm Nalgai. You should know the location. So, it impacted this country called as Philippines. Okay, ji. So, you, this you should remember. Then, the mapping area of this particular section of the world becomes important from the aspect of UPSC. Then last month, there was the super typhoon Noru in the news as well. So it also hit the same country and that is Philippines. So with this uh, 2022 paper, so there has been a new trend that is which of the following pairs are correctly matched. One pair, two pair, three pair, four pair. So for such kind of questions are basically put to have these kind of options, one pair, two pair. And then here no elimination works. So for such questions, you need to prepare or cram these aspects. All right. So this was it for uh, this news. Then the next report is with respect to this global TV report 2022. Uh, the first aspect you should know that what is the name of the organization which releases it so it is released by who then you should know the frequency of this report and this report is released every year so it is released annually and it is not something new phenomena it is released since 1997. Uh, then there is this end tv strategy by who uh, as well so you should be able to relate that end tv strategy is with respect to which organization and that is uh, this uh, world health organization then another upsc's favorite area again it has a habit with respect to asking the declarations in 2020 we talk about the history it has asked about this climate change declaration in 2020 it has already asked so this moscow declaration uh, becomes important with respect to tb you should just know that it is there to end the tb and it is with respect to the global tdb initiative that's it uh then the tuberculosis disease itself becomes important uh the first a uh, thing you should know that uh, the stats with respect to it. So out of that uh, in 2021 crore cases were found and out of that 24 cases, 24 lakh cases were in India itself. Ji. Then what is the cause? It is caused by this bacteria called as mycobacterium tuberculosis. Ji. So two TB hota hai. one which affects our lungs that is called as pulmonary TB and second is which affects our other organs. All right. So that is called as extra pulmonary TB. Uh, then transmission is by uh, there's these uh, cough, sneeze, spit. Whenever your, uh, uh, whenever you get these uh, what we call these droplets from the air, so these TB germs are transferred to your body. Uh, then whether it is treatable, yes, it is treatable and it is curable as well. Uh, do remember this. Then there are various initiatives with respect to it. That is, is Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan, Nikshe Mitra Initiative and Nikshe Poshan Yojana. So these have been covered in our monthly notes. So you can refer them from there. And in the end, we uh, in the month of January and February, we release this yearly compilation of Samadhan as well. So these all initiatives with respect to all diseases are arranged there very beautifully and in, in, in a single page itself. So you can have a last minute quick revision from there itself. Uh, then the third news was with respect to Mount Mauna Loa. So recently a magnitude of 5.0 okay, magnitude of 5.0 earthquake hit this uh, uh, this Mount, Mount Mauna Loa. So the first aspect you should know is the location. So where is it? It is located in the United States territory of Hawaii, which is itself located in the Pacific Ocean. So this is the entire area. Uh, what? Why is Mount Mauna Loa then famous? It is the largest active volcano right now on the planet. Okay. And then comes the types of volcano. If we talk about the type, so it is a type of active shield volcano. So do remember it as well. Uh, last it erupted in 1984. And these are some other <clears throat> volcanoes famous in this uh, Pacific Ocean region that is Tamu Massif, Mauna Kea and Ojos del Salado. So Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa are two different. Please remember this Mauna Loa is the largest active volcano. Okay. Uh, then uh, with respect to the fourth news, that is the World Energy Outlook Report. So you should the first aspect where UPSC has focused, it has asked previous year question with respect to it, the global economic outlook report. It has asked about the global environment outlook report. So Glo world energy outlook report, the first aspect you should know, which is the organization. So organization is International Energy Agency. All right. So IEA. 
then you should know about the frequency. So it is again an annual publication and not a very new concept being published since 1988, uh, sorry, 1998. Uh, then you should know these stats, the which were mentioned in the report, it says that now India is the second largest producer, right, as well as consumer of coal. Okay, so this is a stat which you have to remember. And then the first China is the first largest producer as well as the consumer of coal. All right. So do remember these facts. Just this is necessary. Then 10%, 50%, 55% do not remember these stats exactly. Then uh, one more thing you should know that there is this another report that is India Energy Outlook Report. So do not get confused that which will be the organization which gives this report. It is again the IEA itself, though it is with India's perspective, but it is again given by this body only that is IEA. Then this body becomes important. IEA, the year of its formation was 1974. It is an intergovernmental organization and it is not a UN body. It is the it is the framework of OECD countries. Okay? So do remember that it is an initiative or framework of OECD countries. Then second aspect, you should know that India is not a member TKG and 2017 India became an associate member. So do remember as of now, we are not members of IEA. TK, uh, then the headquarters are in Paris, France. There are these are the famous reports. Just have a look and in exam, you should just be able to relate because in this UPSC just asked that World Economic Outlook report has been released by which of the following World Energy Statistics has been released which of the by which of the following. All right. So uh, then there are certain criteria which a country has to demonstrate in order to become a member of it. Uh, these two are important in crux. I'll tell you. So what, what they say is that the country needs to maintain a 90 days of crude oil reserve and that 90 days of crude oil reserve has to be of the previous year's net imports. Man lije, previous year mein you imported something. So this year you should maintain a reserve that accounts to the 90 days maintenance of that previous year's net imports. All right. Uh, then that there should be a certain program which should be initiated by the country in which it strives to achieve the or strives to reduce the national oil consumption by 10%. So if a country fulfills these two criteria, then only it becomes eligible to become a member of or a member candidate of International Energy Agency. All right. Uh, then there was this next news with respect to the Hathi community. Uh, the first thing you should know with respect to this is the state where it belongs to or the region where it belongs to and that is Himachal Pradesh. All right. Uh, so do remember this. Then the another uh, important community which was mentioned in the same news was Johnser community. Okay. So another uh, why it was mentioned because they sim uh, they share some cultural similarities with this hearty community of Himachal Pradesh and this community is located in Uttarakhand. Then these Kinnars, Gaddis, Gujars, Lahulas, Pangwalas. These all communities are also found in Himachal and these Gaddis, Gujars, etc. are also found in the state of Jammu Kashmir as well. Okay. And then this is a stat with respect to the ST population in state by so MP is the uh, is the state with the largest population of ST population do remember that Punjab and few other states are the ones in where there is no ST population found whatsoever. Tigaji. So though these statements do not help you exactly, but in the contextual questions, these statements will help you to eliminate the point for sure. So do, uh, do remember these stats very precisely. All right. Uh, then there was this tembu art. So just two aspects you have to remember that this tembu art is, uh, is made via the use of rice paddy. Tigaji. So say uh, rice say art banana jata hai. Kaha ka hai originally it is traced to Japan and recently this why not farmer had created an image of Ashok Chakra using this petty art. So that's why it was in news. Then Tulu and Kodawa languages. Uh, what happened was the I'll, I'll briefly explain you the context. So the context was recently uh, this Karnataka uh, government has proposed this draft Kannad language comprehensive development bill. Okay, so uh, the, 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 the people belonging to this uh, or speaking Tulu and Kodawa language opposed this okay, so that uh, our language should also be promoted by the state government. So in this context, these both languages become important. You should know two aspects that Tulu and Kodawa below both belong to the Dravidian languages. Okay, both are Dravidian languages. Second, you should know that their area both are spoken in the area of 
कर्नाटका थर्ड थिंग अबाउट तुलू ओनली यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट इट हैज बीन क्लासिफाइड एज एन एंडेंजर्ड लैंग्वेज बाय यूनेस्को सो नदर आस्पेक्ट यूपीएससी कैन आस्क यू लैंग्वेज क्वेश्चन इन जनरल एंड एंड कैन आस्क यू दैट दिस एंडेंजर्ड लैंग्वेज क्लासिफिकेशन इज गिवन बाय विच एजेंसी सो दैट एट इंटरनेशनल लेवल इज यूनेस्को और राइट देन इन लास्ट क्लास वी डेड डी एम एच इलेवन दैट वॉज धारा मस्टर्ड इलेवन Uh, that was produced by this Delhi University, and this in the, today's newspaper there was this ball guard two roundup ready flex B G double uh, B G one one double R R F. All right. Uh, so what is it? So it has been the first thing you should know that by whom it is produced because when there was this question with respect, to, I told you in previous uh, video as well, Dhara mustard, right? Dhara mustard eleven. So the elimination point was only with respect to the uh, with respect to the organization which made it, and that was Delhi University. And instead, they put Punjab Agricultural University. That itself was wrong. Uh, so you should know that it has been produced by a German multinational. ठीक है जी देन देर आर सर्टन जीन्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस कॉटन दिस जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड कॉटन इन न्यूज दे आर क्राई वन ए सी क्राई टू ए बी वेन वी टॉक अबाउट क्राई वन ए सी एंड क्राई टू ए बी देन दे आर रिलेटेड टू दिस बी टी कॉटन बी टी कॉटन एंड हियर यू हैव टू क्लियरली डिफ्रेंशिएट इट विद एच टी बी टी कॉटन एच टी बी टी कॉटन सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट बी टी कॉटन देर आर जीन इज आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम अ सॉइल बैक्टीरियम दैट इज कॉल्ड एज बेसिलस थोरेंजेनिसिस एंड दैट इज इंसर्टेड टू द कॉटन which gives its protection against pink ballworm and spotted ballworm and tobacco caterpillar but when we talk about cp4 eps that is the gene associated with htbt cotton theek hai to ye cp4 epsis wala gene is derived from this another soil bacterium called as agrobacterium tumefaciens and this provides the resistance to cotton to become tolerant against glyphosate ठीक है सो व्हाट इज ग्लाइफोसेट ग्लाइफोसेट इज अ हर्बे हर्बी साइड सो व्हाट वाज द कंटेक्स्ट व्हाट हैपन वाज कि व्हेन द कॉटन वाज ग्रोन सो देयर यूज्ड टू बी व्हाट व्हाट हैपन वाज वीज वीड्स यूज्ड टू ग्रो अलोंग विद द कॉटन एंड द फार्मर्स टू गेट रिड ऑफ दोस वीड्स ट्राइ टू स्प्रे हर्बी साइड बट दैट हर्बी साइड वाज नॉट एबल टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन द मेन कॉटन प्लांट एंड द वीड्स सो अल्टीमेटली द क्रॉप द कॉटन प्लांट आल्सो गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉयड बट नाउ विद द इनकल्केशन ऑफ दिस एचटीबीटी कॉटन और द सीपोर फॉर एप्सिस जीन दैट इज फ्रॉम द एग्रोबैक्टीरियम टू patients the the cotton plant will become resistance again have will develop resistance against this uh, uh, what we call glyphosate and only the weeds will be killed by it all right so in this context glyphosate also becomes important so what is it it is a herbicide it is used to kill the weeds especially the broadleaf uh, weeds and the grasses theek hai ji and it is majorly used in tea plantations to control the herbicides and it is also used on non crop areas to control the unwanted growth so that's it uh then with respect to the next news is investor education and protection fund authority that is iepfa so with respect to this news you should know that what is it so it is basically uh, uh, a program which tries to uh, promote uh, make people aware give them education with respect to the investment aspect uh then what is the uh, what is the ministry it is associated with it is associated with the ministry of corporate affairs and it was established under the companies act 2013 then it has a mascot called fundu not that important news but you should just be knowing the ministry that is very important all right and then there was this uh, another niveshak didi so do read read it by yourself and then the third aspect is niveshak sarthi so these are the minute aspects to read them from uh, by yourself then mark on the map so there was the city of nabulus so where is it located so you should be able to uh, locate this in the map in the last class also i told told you about लोकेट द इसराइल लेबनान बॉर्डर ठीक है जी इसराइल लेबनान बॉर्डर के ऊपर जितना भी मैपिंग है डू इट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस ईयर ठीक है देन डिस्कालीफिकेशन फ्रॉम मेंबरशिप ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड चीता अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम दीज हैव बीन कवर इन अवर मंथली नोट्स सो डू सब्सक्राइब देम एंड कवर देम फ्रॉम देयर एंड फाइनली अ गुड न्यूज फॉर यू ऑल वी हैव लॉन्च द प्रेलम स्क्रैश कोर्स फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी लॉन्च इट इन एन ऑनलाइन फॉर्मेट एंड नाउ वी आर बिगिनिंग इट इन द ऑफलाइन मोड एज वेल सो दिस मीन्स द क्लास रूम प्रोग्राम नाउ विल बी बिगिनिंग एट ऑल ओवर सेंटर्स दैट इज बैंगलोर पुणे एंड डेली एंड हियर यू कैन कंप्लीट द इंटायर सिलेबस फॉर प्रेलम्स विच एवर आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट्स इन जस्ट टू हंड्रेड आवर्स ठीक है जी सो सिंस इट इज ऑफलाइन देर आर लिमिटेड सीट सो डू रजिस्टर ऑन द प्रायर बेसिस and this was it for this class see you guys thank you so much